What is the real arsenal in a president's system of advantages that he can use to get decisions made and get things going in the right direction? You know, get the correct things passed, deal with the issues correctly, and so forth. You know, if a president can utilize that arsenal which he should have and which should be there in uh, if he has a if it is a wise president then he has a lot over in his uh, on his side of the table to work with but what is that real arsenal is that not character and integrity and dependability based on principles that you can trust Having absolute principles that you know he's going to utilize in his decision making. Being able to trust those decisions not to fail because of uh, his demonstration of character and integrity. So that people would actually be the people that need to pass the bills or people that need to help make the push decisions forward and all would be almost afraid to go against the decision that he has made because they know that it is not likely to be proven wrong and that he's not going to carelessly make a decision and they know that the decision that is made is based on right principles therefore it's a lot harder to uh, would be a whole lot uh, harder to justify their defeat of the major you know this this is the arsenal that the president can use you know he's right more than he's wrong so maybe we should consider that in 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 fighting against him you know if he's is he going to be right more than he's wrong because we know that if you base your decisions on on righteous principles on true absolute principles that everybody in the country knows are the right principles that you're more than likely going to succeed in that decision and in that measure and in that uh, proposition. So this is this is something we really need need to consider that getting somebody uh, and all the future presidents that we need to consider when we elect a president to elect someone who has these qualities that they can utilize in order to do the things that need to be done for the country. You know, if you've got, if you're electing someone that has all kinds of skeletons in their closet and someone that has all kinds of character issues and flaws and uh, uh, they're known for just being wishy-washy and they're known for, you know, just political advantage, putting their, you know, finger up in the air and seeing which way the wind blows and then going to, according to that uh, and, and never e any absolute direction on anything, then that is someone who People are always going to try to find a way around everything that they do. And they're going to feel like they can succeed. All they got to do is bring up some scandal or uh, that they have either found or made up or some false narrative or something that would make uh, the president look bad or, 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 or uh, just threaten him with something. And then he's going to back down because he knows there's so much he knows that he really is, does not have the character and integrity and his principles are really based on his own selfish purposes anyway and so why not just you know bend so there is a very real reason for having real principles operating and have these things in your arsenal before anybody even tries to talk you out of something they know that you have good principles that you're honest and you have integrity and you and that you're going to base everything on what is right and uh what is uh, unassailable in the first place and you're going to be doing your best to make a decision that is not going to fall through later and because of your vision based on these principles it's not near as likely to fall through later and so this serves as a great advantage to you so we need to cultivate this more, uh, not only in ourselves as individual citizens, but in those who we uh, elect as leaders, we should let them know that that is what we expect. Do more uh, 
do more uh, actual visibly and verbally letting them know that that is what we expect out of them when they go there. You know, that we're not going to just play games with politics and have people just doing everything to their own advantage, uh, going and promising one thing and getting there and doing something else because they discover they can gain more power or more money by going over in that direction. But we're, rather, we're going to demand that they sh sh keep their uh, direction based on the principles that they supposedly went there for in the beginning. Now, How do we go about knowing what the correct principles are and the uh, unfailing pre uh, principles and those which are not which are not going to let us go to get not going to let us down in the end? How do we go about getting a vision about everything uh, that will not let us down in the end? How do we get this natural character that will always know what is in the best interest of the country and of the most people and what we can count on uh, going the way that it should if it's based on correct principles, going according to sound vision? How can we cultivate a sound vision of the future a sound vision of what our country should be and gain that so important vision and that so important decision-making ability that sets us head and shoulders of, above uh, anybody else that might seek to try to be in that position. How do we become that leader that can set yourself apart? How do you become that leader that can set yourself apart as someone who knows what they're doing, knows the direction they're going in, can lead other people in, that, in, a, in a definite direction because they know and they have a firm grip and idea upon the direction that they are going in and there's, you're not making, in other words, not making a, de a decision that you have to think through every single one, every minute that you're deciding something, you've got to stop and uh, think about all of the repercussions ahead uh, before you even make the decision. You think about everything as you go, making your decisions as you go, changing your mind as you go. You're not always having to vacillate and change. You know, say, well, I think I'm going to make this decision this way. You know, give it a few days and see how it hits the public, and then I'll just swing back. You know, swing back the other way and test the waters here and then swing around again and vacillate back and forth. But how do you get a steady, definite, solid direction as to where the direction itself and the principles themselves keep the decisions being made on a timely basis and being made once and for all and being... You make your mind up and then you make the decision and then you stay with that decision and that and uh, have faith in yourself that that will pan out in the end to be the best one. How do we get to that place where we can make decisions in that manner and where we know where we're going? And and uh, <clears throat> I think that it's because well, the way we do that is we're going to have to know where we come from and what our foundations are and what has built the uh, uh, what has made a successful president in the past and what has made this country a successful country. Why have we won the wars that we have fought in the past, uh, you know, from World War One, World War Two and the other uh, world wars like that that we've got involved in? Why have we been able to come out as the superpower of the world and uh, the leader, why are we referred to as the leader of the free world and what is the light that guides us in that and all of our other decisions that will keep us the leader of the free world 
these are things we need we need to consider. You know, it's uh, you can't just use relativism. You know, in other words, this is the political environment today, and so and this is what will help me the most politically, and this is what will get the most votes, and this will and this is what will uh, give get me the most power, and so on in the now moment. But rather, what will get our country the most power in the long run? And what will stabilize our country in the long run? What will cause our country to succeed the way it has in the past and continue to succeed that way in the future? To be able to win against the enemies that try to defeat us and bring us down. And make no mistake, there are a lot of enemies that are trying to bring us down and everything that's going on, everything from cybersecurity to uh, breaches to... Uh, Sending drugs over into the country, you know, and supporting that and supporting uh, every kind of thing which uh, would tend to corrupt, you know, everything, everything from poor voting systems, if they can manage to enter in and, and, uh, and corrupt those. Everything that goes on, they're trying uh, uh, to defeat the, the United States because they just don't like us being the superpower for no, no other reason than that. And then number two, they don't like... Some countries don't like for us to be uh, the light of the world, you know, like only uh, uh, be referred to as the as the uh, leader of the, the president being referred to as the leader of the free world. You know, why is, why is our president the leader of the free world? They don't they don't understand that, and they don't, they don't want that. They they want to be uh, considered equal leaders, and so you know that's natural in a way, but uh, it's something that we have to be aware of. So how do we get that leadership ability? They will understand how to keep things on a solid footing that will stand as a barrier to these enemies that we have. We have to have a deep sense of a deep sixth sense for one thing is to, and a deep intuitional ability, ability to reflect on everything that has happened from the beginning of the world into the present, and then especially everything that's happened uh, in the last few thousand years, and, and especially the last few centuries. Everything that has happened since our country began, that has the things that have strengthened us and the things that have weakened us, and know how to determine those things, uh, determine what has weakened us and what has strengthened us, and then we got to be able to look to the future based on that and based on firm principles that we understand from comparing history and comparing everything from the scriptures to everything else. Understanding what principles are going to keep us on a solid foundation and what and by how, how we're going to use those principles as we look toward the future as to what the direction we're going to go. This is going to make the difference and having you and knowing that you're based on you know the entire flow of history from the present to the uh to the past to, to the future and, and all in between there you're firmly enmeshed and entrenched in everything that has happened every president that has come before us we're firmly entrenched in their mind and in their soul and they're living in us and we know uh what they accomplished and why they accomplished it Everything firmly attrition, and then people uh, know and understand by our character and our integrity, you know, and our very uh, aura and everything else. They know that that is, is where we're at, and that is our power. And then you can cut through a lot of quibbling and a lot of argumentation and debate, and you can make decisions that will stand. And when people will know that when you say you're going to make this decision. That that's what you mean, and that's what's going to happen, and that's that's going to be what's going to succeed. And then you won't have so much, so many people trying to defeat you in this way, and this way, and that way. So I'm going to pray that we'll get that, get that kind of vision, and we'll get leaders that'll have solid backbone, as they say, and know how to make decisions and keep and keep them and make them right, make a decision and make it right, as they say. And so I'm going to pray now that we get that, and I pray that everybody has all the happiness they can use and all the joy they can use. If they don't, we're going to pray about it. And if, they, if anybody's sick, they'll be raised up off their bed of affliction. They'll be raised up now off their illnesses, the braille, their depression, oppression, concession, every other kind of session. And they will be raised up in the name of the 
Um, Father, in the name of thy whole son, Jesus, raise people up and make them well, give them harmony and peace and happiness in their life. Amen, amen.